Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and today I'm going to be showing you all three of my ultimate teams that I've had before and not just like on FIFA 13, I mean FIFA 11 ultimate team, FIFA 12 ultimate team and FIFA 13. So as you can see on your screens, this is FIFA 11. Some of you may not have played ultimate team on this, but this is the first one I got into. So we'll just go into my squad and have a little look. As you can see, with the manager, I've got 99 chem. So Obviously, I didn't really understand it fully um, of how to get the best chemistry from everyone. But as you can see, we've got a Brazilian squad here. This is the squad I ended up with on at the end of the game. Um, Julio Cesar and goal was a pretty tank keeper back in the day, and then we've uh, we've done the trampy thing and used a Micon as a right, as a centre back when he is a right back. But we have got an informed Danny Alves. Look at the card stats on that. 90 pace, 88 shooting, 87 passing, 88 dribbling, 84 defending, 75 heading. He's got another card with even better stats than that, I think. But with stats like that, you don't want to be playing him at right back. I'd play him at right forward if Ronaldinho wasn't there. Um, but yeah, that's that's the squad. We've got second informed Hernanes, who's a boss. Uh, inform Nene, who's got great stats. We've got regular Robinho. Second inform Pato, who is just so, so, so good. I, I used to love playing with him. And then the second or third inform Ronaldinho, I think. Um, so that is the FIFA 11 Ultimate Team. Clearly, I didn't quite understand chemistry because we've got a few players who are off there. Uh, Ronaldinho, uh, Mycon and Dani Alves are off chemistry but that is, that's FIFA 11 uh, we've got a Robin on the bench an informed Cannavaro who looks amazing by the way and then an informed Van Persie with the stat card on him nice one um, but yeah that is FIFA 11 I'll show you some FIFA 12 now right we are back and this is my FIFA 12 ultimate team the team that I ended up with after after everything you know I thought all the coins that I had, um, I would sell everyone and buy one good team in case I ever wanted to come back and play this game, um, which I have done a couple of times, you know, when FIFA 13 gets you down, you can always come back and play this game. Um, but as you can see, this is an absolutely beastly squad. Quick few players on the bench are just any randomers, to be honest. We have got a man of the match, Lewandowski, on there, though, randomly. Um, we've got team of the year, Joe Hart. Who is an absolute boss. The two centre backs, we've got an informed Ramos, and we've got a uh, team of the year company who looks disgustingly good as well. Uh, Kyle Walker, inform, and Marcelo. That, you, you know, that's just pace. That is ridiculous. Um, centre mid, we've got the inform Kaka. Uh, we've got a team of the year Ozil and uh, team of the year Yaya Torre, who is definitely one of my favourite players in this game. He was just amazing. I loved him. We've got a second informed Ben Arfa on the right wing, a regular Ronaldo because let's face it, any Ronaldo is amazing. Uh, look at the stats on him, Ronaldo there left wing and then the team of the year Benzema up top. Um, so that that right there is like a 2 million coin team I believe, something like that anyway. Um, that's about what I'm worth on FIFA 13 as well but that, that squad right there is just insane. Um, if there was any handicap, that would be that would be a team which would get handicapped. Uh, I didn't really play with it too much towards the end because I built it just before 13 came out. But I guess now we'll move over and show you the current expensive squad that I've got on FIFA 13. Okay, right, so we're on to FIFA 13. This is the current expensive squad that I'm using. Uh, it costs 1,369,000 coins, giggity. Um, as you can see, there are some absolute beasts in here. We've got Petr Cech in goal because I've never used uh, him this year. I wanted to either put, I could have put anyone in the Premiership. So it was a toss up between Czech, Laurie and Joe Hart really in my opinion. Um, and I went for him. He's the cheaper of the three, only 19k. But a good goalie nonetheless. Um, you know, he's 6 foot 5 and has the stats that he's got. So, you know, that's, that's pretty beast indeed. Uh, so I built this team the day after that the, the you know FIFA came back online again so a few days ago so a few of these players might be a little bit out of price I don't really know uh, we've got Tommy V at centre back who is an absolute boss 70 pace 83 defending 85 heading I love him Unis all the other side again dead cheap and has some 
Tonk stats. Then we've got the big man, Inform Vincent Company. 75 pace, 87 defending, 81 heading. Not quite as good as the team of the year card in the uh, FIFA 12 ultimate team that I've got. And he cost me 397k. Uh, I don't plan on keeping him that long because I don't want to make a massive loss. Um, but yeah, he's a bit of a boss. Can't say I noticed too much difference from him and his regular card. But you know, it's Vincent Company in form. It looks good. And uh, we all know he plays very, very well indeed. Right, right mid, we've got regular Ben Arthur. Five star skills, that's, that's all you need to know. He's a boss, everyone knows it. I've had him for ages, he's probably a lot cheaper than that now. But at the time, that was a good deal. Um, left mid, we've got Eden Hazard. Again, four star skills and weak foot on him. 90 pace and 90 dribbling. Probably got the tightest dribbling out of nearly anyone that I've used this year. The ball just sticks to his feet. Uh, he's, he's he's good, but he hasn't really done anything for me yet so far. But, you know, some assists assists and stuff like that. 92k is what he cost me. He's about 100k on left mid, but I moved him back and stuff. So I might be able to make a little bit of profit on him. Now, our two CDMs. That's, they're both Afro men. Uh, we've got second inform Fellaini and the new inform Axel Witzel. Uh, so Fellaini's got some beastly stats there. 74 pace, 76 shooting. Uh, 83 passing, 78 dribbling, 83 defending, 85 heading. And then Witzel there with his 72 pace, 80 shooting, 82 passing, 86 dribbling, 75 defending, 78 heading. Um, the whole team was built around Witzel. I really wanted to use him. Four star skills and weak foot. I love his regular card. I paid 71k for him the day that the game came out. Uh, the day that he came out. And uh, he rose to about 80 something. I'm not sure what he's at right now. So uh, if I sell him quick, I might be able to make a little bit of profit perhaps. Um, but I really, really like him. He's a solid center, central defensive mid. You could also play him at Cam. Uh, he'd do just as well. Uh, then we've got Sami Nazri here. Um, but just because he's French and he plays in the BPO, and that's the sort of link that I needed, uh, I think. Uh, well, that's the route I wanted to go with up top. I knew that I wanted Remy because I've heard he's great and he's very pacey and he's got four-star skills. So I wanted to use Remy, but I also really wanted to use the 88 Karim Benzema. Uh, he cost me 615k, which is a bit ridiculous, really. Um, when when he was out in team of the week he was like 425 something like that so i really wish i would have bought him then but you know no big deal i'm sure he'll still be around 600 when i go to sell him so it's not the end of the world um but that is the squad uh, it's more of a regular squad builder it's a bit of a different video shall we say you know i've shown you the three ultimate teams that i've had um Obviously, the other ones were packed with informs, but because we haven't got that far into Ultimate Team yet this year, it's difficult for me to spend my money. Like This was 1.3, 1.4 million. Uh, I've still got 400, 500k there, and if we look at my squads, I've still got a few squads here, so I'm worth about 2 million, maybe 2 million, 100,000, something like that. Uh, so when more informs come out and players start to drop in price a little bit, that's when I can make some really classy teams. Um, but for now, thank you for watching. Uh, the best of the YouTubers is up. Me versus KGT Legit HD, Jake and Greg. Uh, what can I say? Their video is very funny, and I don't think I'm going through. I don't. By the judging of the comments in the video, it looks like KGT man. They've got so many fans. It's ridiculous. I think they're the favourites for the whole competition. But if I do go out, it's been. It's been great for everyone, you know. We've all we've all seen our sub count go up um, from this sort of thing, which is exactly what it was for. Um, so best of luck to KGT. If you guys would like to vote for me, which I would, I hope you would. Um, I'll leave a link in the description, but that'll be to go and watch mine and KGT's video, and then you can either vote for whoever. But it'd be great if you guys would vote for me. That that would mean a lot. Uh, let's let's not have it a complete whitewash for KGT. Let's maybe keep it a little bit closer. But thank you for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. He's crashed that one in. It's an extraordinary goal. Well, he's hit it hard, and he's hit it early. I think.